Hmm. I wonder what lives here. Let's take a closer look in the plants and see what we discover. Wow, there are so many plants and animals living together in this habitat. Let's make a habitat of our own. Let's start by adding some rocks and branches. Tap on the book if you want to hear about the things you can add to your habitat. Let's keep going. Plants. Flowers. Now we can choose a plant to add. You can always use my book to learn more information. Flowers have a watery juice inside called nectar. I wonder what animals will drink it. Let's look around. Wow, this is so interesting. Let's keep going. Now we get to add animals. Lots of different animals live together here. Let's pick one and learn what happens. Worm. Leaf cutter ant. Earthworms make tunnels by eating the soil. I notice each time we add to the habitat, new plants and animals can live there. Roly-poly. Tiger beetle larva. Look, we're going up. I wonder what we'll discover. Different animals can be found living here. I wonder what we'll find. Oak tree hopper. Two striped grasshopper. Grasshoppers get around by jumping and flying. I wonder what other ways bugs can move around. We can take a closer look at the plants and animals with this magnifying glass. Move the magnifying glass over a plant or animal and click it to see it up close. Flowers can be many different shapes and colors. Roly polies protect themselves by rolling up in a ball. I noticed the two-striped grasshopper has two lines that go down its back. That must be how it got its name. Earthworms have no arms, legs, or eyes. Ladybug larva. Praying mantis nymph. This is a nymph, or a baby praying mantis. I wonder how it will change as it grows. Oak tree hopper. Ladybug larva. Tree hoppers can be very colorful. What do you notice about the colors of the other bugs? This is the adult mantis. It looks similar to when it was a nymph, but now it has wings. 
Let's keep exploring. Monarch caterpillar. Swallowtail caterpillar. Caterpillars change into butterflies. Hmm, I wonder what color this butterfly will be. Honeybee. Yellow jacket wasp. Honeybees tell each other where food is in a special way. They do something called a waggle dance with their bodies. Monarch caterpillar. Yellow jacket wasp. Wasps live in groups called colonies. The swallowtail caterpillar we added changed into this colorful butterfly. Wow, this is so interesting. Let's keep going. I wonder what we'll find. Bumblebee. Ruby-throated hummingbird. The ruby-throated hummingbird is a small bird that flaps its wings very fast. It can fly around from spot to spot very quickly. American Robin. Loggerhead Shrike. Sometimes the robin bird hops along the ground looking for its food. We finished our habitat. I love nature. Let's keep exploring. You can keep exploring or you can make another habitat. Do you want to start a new habitat? Tap this button to look at all the animals you've discovered. Look at all the living things you've discovered. Tap on them to learn more. See what happens if you try adding new plants and animals to your habitat. Branch. Plants. Flowers. Flowers have a watery juice inside called nectar. I wonder what animals will drink it. Worm. Leaf cutter ant. Ants live in large groups. They work together to collect leaves to take back to their nests. Snail. Bark centipede. Snails crawl slowly across the ground, eating plants and fungus. Ladybug larva. Oak tree hopper. These are larvae, or baby ladybugs. How will they need to change to be adult ladybugs? Two-striped grasshopper, praying mantis nymph. This is a nymph, or a baby praying mantis. I wonder how it will change as it grows. Oak tree hopper, two-striped grasshopper. Tree hoppers can be very colorful. What do you notice about the colors of the other bugs? This is the adult mantis. It looks similar to when it was a nymph, but now it has wings. Monarch caterpillar. Swallowtail caterpillar. Caterpillars change into butterflies. I wonder what color this butterfly will be. Honeybee. Yellow jacket wasp. Honeybees tell each other where food is in a special way. They do something called a waggle dance with their bodies. 
monarch caterpillar, yellow jacket wasp. Caterpillars are the baby form of butterflies. I wonder what colors and patterns this butterfly will have. The ladybug is now an adult. It has a red shell with spots on it. Bumblebee. Ruby-throated hummingbird. Bumblebees move pollen from one flower to another. This helps make more flowers. American Robin. Loggerhead Shrike. The shrike bird gets its food by sitting up high, spotting it, and quickly diving down to catch it. Backyard life. 